Today, we're here in the studio of the American Embassy in Brussels. We welcome Commissioner Vassiliou and Ambassador Kennard. We are very honored to have them here to discuss international education, especially as this week is International Education Week. I am Androula Vassiliou. I'm the Commissioner, uh, the EU Commissioner for uh, Education, Culture, Multilingualism, and Youth. My name is uh, William Kennard. I'm the United States Ambassador to the European Union, and it's uh, really a joy to be here with Commissioner Vassiliou. Commissioner, what kinds of programs does the EU have in place, and why is mobility so important? All our research shows that uh, the young people who participate in mobility schemes get a lot of benefit out of it. They add to their skills and qualifications. They get something extra from the skills that they get through formal education. We have some very interesting programs on mobility of young people here in the, in the European Union. I'm sure most of the people have heard of Erasmus. Now we have the Erasmus Mundus, which is for international uh, participation of, uh, in mobility schemes. Uh, but we have also the Cominius for uh, secondary school uh, children. Uh, we have uh, Leonardo for vocational uh, training. Uh, we have the Marie Curie for young researchers, so we have a lot of programs for mobility. But of course, we value a lot the mobility not only among uh, students uh, and young people of uh, the European Union, but also with the outside world, so that we give the opportunity to our young people to go abroad to third countries, but also from third countries to come to the European Union. And I'm so pleased that we have started a very, very good and uh, close cooperation with the United States of America. Mr. Ambassador, of all the tools that you have in diplomacy, what is the role of education in the transatlantic relationship? Well, you know, so much of diplomacy and the relationship between and among people comes down to, uh, to getting people together so that they can communicate and get to know one another. That's why the programs that we have with, the, with uh, the European Union are so important because we're able to get young people at a formative time in their lives to travel, to open their eyes to the world, and this is an opportunity for them to really get to know other cultures and other people in a very personal, fundamental way. It may seem like a small thing, but our experience has been that it really does change relations between nations when you can get people together. Commissioner, what do you hope that a student comes back with after a study abroad experience? Well, I think the experience is that they get different cultures, different languages, because we're not talking about English-speaking uh, uh, young people only. We have, as you know, 23 different official languages in the European Union, so you get students or young people from the 27 member states participating in uh, programs in the United States. So they come back with uh, different impressions about new cultures, new language, new way of life, and new education systems. So this experience, I think it's great. It en enriches their uh, knowledge and their uh, um, life, and it gives, uh, it broadens their horizons. And as the ambassador quite rightly said, it also, um, without realizing, uh, it improves the relations between our peoples. Mr. Ambassador, did you yourself study abroad? And if so, did this affect your decision to take on the role of U.S. Ambassador to the European Union? I was privileged to have the opportunity to study in France in college. And it was an experience that just fundamentally changed mm -hmm. my life. Uh, the opportunity to, to live here and learn the language and study alongside European students uh, it was remarkable. I'm convinced that one of the reasons why I decided to come back here as mm -hmm. the United States Ambassador to the European Union is because I had that experience early on in life. Mm -hmm. So it was, uh, it was very rewarding. And I'm sure all the young people who participate in these programs had similar experiences. It enriches their life and um, builds up the relations between peoples. Mr. Ambassador, what's the significance of talking about education at this particular moment? One of the, the joys of, uh, of representing um, President Obama in Europe is that he's so committed not only to um, engaging with the rest of the world, but committed to young people yes. and making sure that young people have 
uh, a better future, and yes. um, young people get a better future through education. More Americans go to the countries of the European Union to study than any other place, and at the same time, more Europeans go to the United States mm -hmm. than any other place. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's tens of thousands a year. I think mm -hmm. about 60,000 EU citizens go to the mm -hmm. U.S., and 135 mm -hmm. Americans mm -hmm. go to, um, to Europe. So that's a lot of people, you yes. know, and collectively we're building lots of relationships around this program. So it's very powerful. Yes. Now we go through a very serious economic and financial crisis, and your uh, participation in this effort to uh, exit from the crisis will depend on what you do for education. Without education, we cannot give our young people the opportunity to um, make a better life for themselves, a better future, a more fulfilling life for themselves. And we have put two targets for education. It's a twin target. On the one hand, we have we suffer from a very uh, big problem, and I'm sure in the States it's not any better, that uh, many young people leave school early. About 14% of our young people leave school mm. without the necessary skills and qualifications that they will need in life. So we want to reduce these numbers from the 15%, 14% that is today to less than 10% in 10 years' time. And the other end of the target is to increase the uh, percentage of young people who have tertiary education, mm -hmm. university or vocational training. Commissioner, as we're coming to the end of this uh, engaging talk, I was wondering if you could tell me in a very short uh, way, if you were standing in front of a room full of students, what would you do uh, to convince them to study abroad? Well, I would say that our European Union uh, higher education programs are key to make, f to give uh, the opportunity to every young person to make a story, a life story of him for himself or herself. A story that will be full of opportunities, full of uh, uh, lifelong uh, friendships, and uh, of a, a lot of cultural diversity because Europe is based on unity in diversity. So I think I am um, really encouraging all y the young people from the United States to participate in these programs, but equally to our people here to participate in these programs and visit and study in the United States. Mr. Ambassador, what would you say to a student who is even thinking about studying abroad? Well, it, having um, been in that position at one time in my life, I realize that sometimes it can be uh, overwhelming to figure out um, opportunities and how you get help, but I would say you're not alone in deciding what you want to do. You can get a lot of help. There, in every country in the European Union, you can find a USA education advisor, and that person will help you sort through the various options that we've talked about today, like the Fulbright program, the Fulbright Schumann program, and the International Visitors program. There's a lot of things to do, and so I would just advise people to reach out. Thank you very much, Commissioner and Mr. Ambassador, for being here today.